Okay, I'm excited because I'm here with a celebrity. <laughs> He's a playwright, an extraordinary artist, known all over the nation, possibly around the world. He's working on a major uh, production in tribute to Billy Eckstein. Uh, Billy Eckstein, one of the musical legends of our time. Yeah, the title of the play is Me and Mr. B, a tribute to Billy Eckstein, and it's, uh, it's a wonderful production, and we're looking forward to bringing it here to Atlanta, as well as going to other major cities around the country and abroad. We, we're, we're looking at also going to Paris, France for 10 weeks, and uh, I've had a wonderful experience coming up here to Atlanta, to, to the who's who in black Atlanta. Uh, for this experience, I had an opportunity to interact with some people who I hadn't seen in quite a while, and to some my surprise, Zanona Clayton, who was the uh, uh, mistress of ceremony this evening, we go way back, I taught school with her twin sister, who passed away a couple of years ago, but uh, it, was, it was an honor seeing her. I got to talk to her afterwards. She said she's going to be doing everything she possibly can to make that uh, 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 possibility of uh, the Billy Eckstein story coming here to Atlanta. She's going to help bring that to fruition. Okay. Now, uh, Mr. Walden, what is your full name? Well, uh, my full name is Lawrence Walden, L A U R E N C E. Right. Yeah. And your website? Well, my website is www.lwalden.net. Oh, beautiful. Now, Mr. Walden, let the viewing audience know in what city were you born? I was born in Chicago in 1946, and I'm proud of my age because, <laughs> you know, when I'm talking with young people, they say, wow, Mr. Walden, you're 61. I'm like, oh, yeah. So I try to impart upon young people it's very important at a very early age to take care of yourself, eat properly, and uh, stay away from the cigarettes and the alcohol, especially the drugs, and only have one woman in your life. And, in, and love your parents and treat other people right, and you end up looking as good as I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Walden, let the viewing audience know, where did you attend uh, elementary school? Was that in Chicago? Uh, right across the street from where I lived, on 57th and Wabash. I went to Carter Elementary School. Matter of fact, Red Fox went to that same elementary school. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So in, uh, in, early, in early education, how did the curriculum, the history books and the science books make you feel about being a young black person in America while you were in school? Well, while I was in school, I had no feeling at all. Uh, mainly the inspiration that I got as far as uh, my black heritage was concerned, I was f very fortunate enough that it was imparted upon me uh, by my parents. And one of the unique things that happened was is that I went through the elementary system, I went through the high school system, and then when I graduated at age uh, 17, I went into the military, and there I was in the military when they started talking about Jean-Baptiste Point du Sable and I thought it was a shame that I went through a whole educational system and I never knew that a black man discovered and settled and named Chicago the city that I grew up in. Wow. Well there are several contributions that African Americans have made that go unnoticed up to this point and that's why we're working very diligently mm -hmm. to rewrite the American history book. I work for a company called Purpose Publishing. Well that needs to happen most and, definitely. And well yeah. and you're gonna help it happen. Oh you know, yeah. You know you wanted to move yeah. and shake us Oh yeah got to be. Yeah. Um, now let me ask you this how do you feel that American and a, a new American history book that includes the intellectual contributions of African Americans and other nationalities that have henceforth been left out how do you think that that type of uh, education will improve race relations in, in our country and the world. Well, I think that type of education will really uh, improve race relations because you got to understand the fact that uh, when those uh, uh, black people were doing things, a lot of them were doing things uh, in conjunction with, with their white counterparts and they were doing it for the sake of humanity but then when the history books came along that's what they did. They wrote his story, not the story. Perfect example is when you start talking about the electric light system, everybody thinks of Thomas Edison but nobody talks about Lewis Latimer who invented the cotton filament that made the light bulb work and he owned the company that Thomas Edison worked for and he did the whole electrical system for Washington DC. You know, th th that is one of the many major contributions that we celebrate right. uh, with the Black Miracles poster on our website, blackmiracles.com. Um, now, the other thing I wanted to ask you is, are you familiar with the fact that a new law has been passed called the Amistad legislation up in New Jersey? Uh, William Payne and Donald Payne were very instrumental in getting that legislation passed. Yeah, I've heard briefly some, uh, uh, some, somewhat about it, but, but since I've been extremely busy, I'm going to take out some time this week to further investigate it because I've been hearing it in bits and pieces and I haven't been able to become totally acclimated to what that process is, but from what I gather, it's something that's long overdue. Okay. Well, listen, 
uh, Mr. Walden, it's been an honor and a pleasure Likewise. to interview you. Thank you. And uh, I, I, I wish you much success. I've heard great reviews on your on your stage play. Well, thank you. And I look forward to seeing your production, which will be uh, for the silver screen, or will it be for... Well, for right now, it's for stage, but we're, 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 we're looking at the movie because I think the movie or a miniseries for television would be something that the public would really like. And what's so nice about it is because of the fact that Billy Eckstein interacted with so many uh, multidimensional people. Uh, over a period of 40 or 50 years that it will uh, uh, impart knowledge upon an extremely diverse not only racially but age-wise as far as the audience is concerned beautiful that's the kind of story we need yeah so I, I thank you very much for thank this you. interview yes.